Hey folks, very short update video, we're getting a new hero with the new patch coming live with Fortune Barons. This one is gonna hit the 25th of March and the new hero we're getting is Overlord Sorfang. This guy has a 1 gold hero power that is called for the Horde and when you press it, the next unit you buy gets plus 1 attack. But it upgrades, kind of like a tune. So the next time you press it, I assume it gets plus 2 attack to the next unit you buy. So I'm actually not sure how good this is because it upgrades 1 a turn, same as Katoon, but it is half the cost. So it is half the cost of Katoon but you also only get attack and it's only on one unit that you buy. So if you don't buy a good unit in the shop or just don't find anything, you can't use it or don't get good value of it. Now, obviously, this is really good if you hit a Hydra and you stacked up the hero power or you hit the Fine Shield units like Bronze Warden, Max in general, stuff like that. So I'm not entirely sure how I think or how I feel about this because once you buy a unit, it, it doesn't do anything anymore. It doesn't buff units on your board, but only units you buy. Well, if you compare this to Edwin with a one gold hero power, if you buy units, you can keep buffing up the Hydra or the Deflectobot and stuff like that. So you can keep buffing up the good units that you already have and with this guy you gotta keep buying new shit. So overall, uh, I think he's not going to be that good, but he's going to be fun to mess around with. Maybe there's a strategy that I'm not thinking of. You could do a farm curve because he is using a one cold hero power that you could press every single turn. I will also quickly mention that you don't need to press this hero power for it to upgrade. It upgrades automatically every turn. So even if you don't press this hero power in the first couple turns, on turn 5 for example, you will get plus 5 attack if you press it. Yeah, that's exciting. Also, quick note, uh, let's press F in the comments down below together for Piloted Shredder because uh, our boy is being lowered into the grave. This is gonna have uh, a peaceful time next to Pogo. Real quick, I also want to mention that they did not talk about Quillbors whatsoever. We're getting an entire new tribe and uh, during the reveal stream they didn't even mention it. Yeah, we have no idea when we get more stuff released. Also, in case you missed it, there's also a new unit coming, which is called Baron's Blacksmith. It's a 3 star 3 5 with Frenzy. Give units on your board plus 2 plus 2. Frenzy is a keyword where if he takes damage but survives the hit, uh, it triggers, but it only triggers once. So you need the unit to value trade in order for Frenzy to trigger. So you need this unit to take damage from somewhere, but that's 5 HP, so it's very likely early on. And then it's like a golden spawn on the board. So I think it's a nice tempo play, but it's a neutral, so it doesn't scale up unless you taunt it with Argus and find Scavenger. So it's a unit that you can slot in a board for a couple turns to be strong if it actually value trades. But then, yeah, you gotta sell it unless there is some sort of frenzy trap coming soon, like uh, more frenzy units, and you can play a ghoul and just trigger all the frenzy units on your board and pop off. But I don't see that happening anytime soon. So yeah, that's also coming the 25th. Be sure to subscribe to be notified with the next update when the cold boars hits. I put a lot of hearts on battlegrounds guides on YouTube and I stream here as well. So you could do that if you want to catch more content from me. Also, liking the video helps me out and helps this video spread to more people so they are aware of this Battlegrounds update coming live soon. But that's it. Have fun. Uh, again, let me know what you think about these changes and these units and have fun with these new things very soon.